Is it recording, bud? Yes, it is, Danny. Yes, it is. Okay, good. Anyway, I'm Danny the Soloris, and this is my buddy, Boris. See, we recently moved to a town in the old side of Green Bay, into our new home. And some really scary things have been happening in this house. So we're going to leave a camera recording all night long so we can detect some paranormal activity. All right, let's get started. Okay, is it recording? Okay, good. All right, come to bed, Boris. Well, I hope this works, Danny. Yeah, me too. Okay, good night, Boris. Good night. Boris, come here! What? Did you find something? Yeah, look! The attic door moves by itself! Not only that, listen closely. Oh my god! That's flippin' scary, man! Yeah, but at least now we know that the camera works, we can keep on using it! Okay, but what do we do afterwards? Are we gonna move? No, Boris, we'd just be letting whoever's behind all this win!
know that I am yours and you are mine and you don't have to stay so angry. To forgive and to forget is what it takes and that's what makes a family. Find anything yet, Danny? Nope, nothing yet. <gasps> Wait a minute, got something! You know that I am yours and you are mine and you don't have to stay so angry. To forgive and to forget is what it takes and that's what makes a family. Boris, this is serious. Not only did this monster mess with our TV in the living room, but they also messed with our sets. Danny! Danny! Danny, wake up! Mm -mm. Yeah, Boris, what's up? What? Do you hear that? Listen! that too. Is that the monster or whatever it is? I don't know. Perhaps it's just the TV? But when he looks through the window, he's shocked to see his wife dead. Blood everywhere and a stranger in the car. What happened here? Something that's of course, but leaking details. Okay, somebody needs to go downstairs and check. Um, uh, I don't feel like it. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Boris, come here. What's up? I've been researching about this spirit, and I just discovered that what we're dealing with is not a ghost. It's a flippin' demon. Oh. I see. Well, what are we going to do? Well, according to what it says here, you can only see him with fluorescent light. So in order to see what he looks like, we're going to have to go and get a fluorescent light bulb. Uh, I'll let you do that, Danny. Boris, seriously? Um, Boris, what are you doing? Well, you see, I'm putting in some special solution along with an extra ingredient of a touch of a special kind of dirt and dust. That way, it will be easy for the spirit to leave some footprints. And then, 
we can follow the spirit's tracks and catch him. Hmm. You know, that might not actually sound like a bad idea. Oh my god! What? What is it, Boris? Look! The creature has left footprints! Holy crap! You're right! Come on, Denny. Let's go follow those footprints. Hey, come on, Boris. No head starts. Well, Denny, looks like the footprints end here. Wait, Boris, look. The basement. That must be where the spirit's hiding. Oh my goodness. Well, if that's the case, stay here, Denny. I'm gonna go down there and take a look. All right, but please, be careful. Be careful down there, Boris. Don't worry, Denny. I'm just looking around here for clues. <laughs> oh my goodness! Danny! 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 You won't believe what I found! Oh my god! You found some fluorescent light bulbs! Now I'll be able to see that monster! Okay, I just put in all the fluorescent light bulbs. So once we see that spirit, we can catch him! Alright! Yay! Go Danny! Okay. Anyways, good night, Danny. Good night, Boris. You okay, Boris? 
no. That monster tried to hurt me so bad. Honestly, I haven't been this exhausted and traumatized and and hurt and overall sick to the stomach since I got that little part-time volunteering job as Mr. Pyle's personal grocery shopper. A vacuum? Um, am I reading this right? You need a vacuum of chocolate-covered strawberries. Uh, what am I supposed to find? Uh, 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 here, here, what is this? A closet of Honey Nut Cheerios? Is, is that like a closet that you store cereal in or something? Uh, 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 look at this one. A dresser of goldfish crackers. Dresser, what, what, d d d what, where are you getting these units of measurement from? Random infomercials. <laughs> you know, you're a pretty interesting person, Mr. Pyle. No wonder a lot of people in the stuffed animals community found you extraordinary. Well, anyway, you just sit tight, wait right here, and I'll be back with your playpen of brownies. Oh, I see. Hmm. So that's what it's like to be a person who wakes up way too early in the morning watching infomercials. Especially that exercise one. What was that called? Pio. That's what it was called. Anyway, don't worry, Boris. We're gonna catch him tonight. I promise. Um, okay. What? What is it, Boris? Listen! It's the spirit! Holy crap! Yeah! I can hear that too! Quick! Turn on the fluorescent light bulb! I'm on it. Okay. On the count of three, I'll turn on the fluorescent light and we'll see the spirit. Okay. One. Two. Three! You told me not to talk to strangers. You told me not to cross the street without looking both ways. You told me not to touch the stove. You told me not to do drugs. 
You told me not to drink and drive. You gave me so many messages about how to stay safe. Why didn't you keep me safe by properly storing your gun?